guys, it's Christina. So I wanted to do a new makeup tutorial and I've been doing a lot of events lately like red carpet stuff. So I wanted to do a routine showing you how I get ready including skincare and makeup. And then I did my hair separate because I already have tutorials on that. So first of all, before I do any red carpet stuff, I always make sure to do a mask. I like to do something the night before, but then right before the event, I like to clean out my pores. So this is the one I'm gonna be using today. This is from Bunny Glow and it has pink clay from Australia. So it's really cool. I'm gonna show you how I use it. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be on Instagram, it's K3Chocolate. Make sure to check out the info box down below for all the product links. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm starting off with the bare face. This Bunny Glow mask smells so good and it also comes with this free brush. So I wet my face a little bit and then applied the mask all over in an even layer. This mask helps detoxify your pores from any debris, any makeup or any impurities. It has Australian pink clay as its main ingredient which is really awesome. I've never used anything like this before. It also refines your pores, smooths your skin, which also helps to stimulate new collagen production and most importantly it brightens your skin because I definitely noticed the glow. When I applied my makeup after this mask, I literally was glowing. So I love it. And it's also vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. I got it from bunnyglow.com and I will link their website down below in the info box for you guys. So once you're done applying your mask, you want to wait at least 10 minutes for it to dry. So just Netflix and chill, go do your hair, whatever, get an Instagram. So after it dried, I went and washed it off and my skin felt so smooth and brightened. And then I went ahead and did the rest of my skincare routine, which I will link everything for you guys down below. So first, I always go in with a lightweight serum. And then I apply my eye cream and you want to use your ring finger because it's the weakest one so it applies the least pressure. And you definitely want to do that with a delicate eye area. Then I applied my moisturizer and you definitely don't want to forget about the neck and decollete area. Now moving on to the makeup, I'm applying an illuminating primer first. And this will help your skin look glowing underneath your makeup. So then I go ahead and put on my foundation before the primer is all the way dry to add to that glowy, dewy look. Make sure to take your foundation down your neck and decollete area as well. And then I'm just blending everything in with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm applying the concealer and the triangle underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and my chin area to highlight. And then of course blend everything in with a damp beauty blender. And I will link all the products for you guys down below as well. Now moving on to the contour. And keep in mind this is a glam look, not an everyday sort of look. I'm applying that down the sides of my nose, my temples, underneath my cheekbones, my jawline, underneath my lower lip, and then on my collarbones to emphasize them. And also I'm contouring my boobs, which I have a whole separate video on how to make your boobs appear bigger, which that one has the contouring and a lot more tricks, so check it out. So then I'm just blending everything in and then going in with my damp beauty blender once again. Then to set everything, I'm using a translucent powder which is so much better than using a regular colored powder which can oxidize throughout the day and make your foundation darker and just make your entire look completely different. So since this is a glam look that's supposed to last all night long, you want to set the foundation and especially the concealer underneath your eyes. Then for my eyebrows, I'm going to fill them in with a pomade. By rule, you want your eyebrows to be three shades lighter than your hair if you're brunette and three shades darker than your hair if you're blonde, which I'm both, so this is the shade that I like right now. Then just brush them out to make them look more natural. Moving on to the bronzer. I'm going to place that on top of the cream contour that we did earlier to help set and also emphasize those areas. Moving on to the eyes, I'm using this matte mocha shade all over the lid as a wash of color. 
Now for the highlight, I'm taking this palette. I'm gonna place the highlight on my cheekbones, a little bit of my forehead, just think of wherever the sun would hit. Also on my collarbones, my boobs, and my shoulders for the sunkest look. And I'm also gonna use the same palette on my eyes. So I'm gonna place the highlight underneath my brow and my inner corner and lower lash line to open up the eyes. Then I'm gonna highlight my nose, so I'm drawing like an exclamation point. So just down the bridge of your nose and then on the tip and also my cupid's bow. Going back in with the bronzer, I'm using it to contour my nose. So I'm just going down the sides underneath the tip and also a little bit underneath my lower lip, which I have a tutorial on how to make your lips appear larger. So I will link that for you guys down below as well. Check it out. Then I'm taking the same bronzer and using it in my crease. Which I like doing this with both the highlight and the bronzer because it pulls the whole look together when my eyes have the same colors as my face. Then I'm just setting my eyebrows with an eyebrow gel and putting a lash primer on my lower lashes because I do have extensions on the top. So while that dries, I'm going to set my whole face with a setting spray. Then I'm going to put mascara on my lower lashes and a tiny bit on the top which you have to be careful with extensions. I'm gonna put it at the base, so I'm not tugging on the roots of the extensions. I'm just putting it a little bit at the very ends because you, do, because you do get eyeshadow fallout and I want the extensions to look dark. So then my camera actually died, so I went ahead and did my hair and changed. So now back to the look, I'm gonna take a little bit of a dark matte eyeshadow and put that in the outer corner. You can see how it emphasizes the eyes for the nighttime. Then for the lips, I'm taking a darker lip pencil and I'm overlining my lips, which again, you can refer to my video on how to make your lips bigger. There's a few tips and tricks there. Then I'm filling it in with a lipstick. I'm kind of blending the color in with the lip liner to create an ombre effect. And then I'm gonna add a shiny lip gloss on top, which again is one of the tricks from that video. Now for the last step, I'm gonna add a sexy wing. So I love using this eyeliner because it's very inexpensive and it's super precise. And you can definitely see the difference between the two eyes. It's more of a sultry look for the nighttime and it's also very glam for pictures. And that's it, you're done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments or hit me on Instagram, DM me on there, and I will see you in my next video.